Welcome to 2715 Westmead. This beautiful brick and stone home set on 5.46 acres, right under five and a half acres in the Brentwood subdivision. Look how big the front yard is. It's set way back off the road here. Taking pictures today. You've got a new roof, five bedrooms, a pool, fence backyard, bonus room, office. This home truly has it all. I can't wait to show you the inside. Let's take a look. All right, welcome in the front foyer entry of Westmead. Take a look at this beautiful two-story foyer with the curved staircase. Gorgeous heart pine floors welcome you as you enter this gorgeous family home. This home really has it all. A space for everything. It has been loved for many years. Looking back at the front door, you've got kind of this like whole moment. I think they had their Christmas tree here, a two, like a 12 or 16 foot Christmas tree that can go right there. I just think that's such a cool place to put a tree. All right, so up first is the um, living room. So you've got a little bit of a step down. There's just even just like a little half step, just kind of making this space a formal, wonderful space for family to gather looking back and just to give you the floor plan you've got guest bedroom here which was the original master a study you've got an additional master added on on the back that's two bedrooms downstairs and then you've got three additional bedrooms upstairs for a total of five bedrooms looking back across the living room you've got a beautiful marble gas fireplace look at the dental molding here on the fireplace heart pine charm and character you've got beautiful molding as well in this great bay window across the front another look across the living room here and then you're coming into the dining room again look at the wide plank heart pine floors and this is a large table you've got plenty of room for large pieces of furniture here and you've got a beautiful crystal chandelier and i love the separation of the space there Next up, we're going to head into the kitchen and the family room. Right, coming across the kitchen, you will immediately notice how light and bright this space is. The owner has updated for this wide open floor plan. Beautiful kitchen. This island is movable, so it's, um, it's on caster wheels, so you can kind of move it to the space as you're cooking and Whatever your needs are, you've got a gas range there. You've got double ovens, so two ovens here, large drawers for pots and pans, beautiful wine storage, kind of a bar set up here. You've got a wine cooler. And then looking back across, look at the display cabinetry. I mean, the details of this kitchen are unbelievable. You've got beautiful triple sink here, tumble marble backsplash coming around the kitchen built-in microwave spot there, looking back across. And this is a paneled front refrigerator freezer, but look at all the cabinets. This house has tons of storage. And I haven't bragged on these countertops. These are granite countertops. They're a beautiful kind of sandstone color. And it does have a nice walk-in pantry as well, right here to my right. So you've got a great big pantry with all kinds of storage space. And last up, we're gonna show you this. Another bar. look at the beautiful bar and the display cabinetry. You've got lights built in, beautiful beverage sink here. And then again, just so much storage. Look how many big, deep, um, long drawers there are. And then this is the ice maker here on the end. One more look across the kitchen. And next up, we're gonna head into the combination dining room overlooking the backyard. And look at this den, double fireplaces facing each other. You've got uh, best of both worlds because you have gas logs on this side, wood burning on the other. And look how much light. They added these skylights to really bring in natural light because this room is so large. This is looking back towards the front door and looking back across. And you've got like a little entertainment area tile floor so as people come in and out it's easy to keep clean because you've got those tile floors P kids coming in from the pool and looking across the great the family room here in the dining space i love that they created this 
casual dining space because this is where everybody wants to be. They want to be in your kitchen. They want to be looking out into this beautiful backyard with all these beautiful views. And so what a great space to entertain family and friends. Peek at the pool there that I can't wait to show you. Look at this big long breakfast bar here. I mean, you could have probably six bar stools there. So first up, we're gonna go back up to the front of the house and I'm gonna show you those bedrooms. Look at that stack stone there. I'm gonna show you the first bedroom, which was the original master, and then we'll go back to the primary bedroom downstairs. So let's take a look. Back up to the front door. We come into kind of this own little suite area. You've got a study to the left, which makes a wonderful in-law suite if anybody needed a separate sitting area and a big bedroom. This is like its own little wing of the house. So it's very private, um, separated, so it makes a great guest suite or secondary master. You've got another gas fireplace, so we've seen a total of two fireplaces. This makes the third. This has got a pocket door, and you can see how easily accessible the bathroom is there. Coming into, again, this was the original primary suite. You've got a big, beautiful um, glass window there, an exit door as well. And this, I mean, is a king-size bed, so you can really see how big this bedroom is. I'm looking to see the hydrangeas out the window there. And then coming into the bathroom. Here is a nice, big, open bathroom. You can see this is like a double-wide doorway here. You've got two vanities. One here and a second one with a makeup vanity. These are solid surface Corian countertops. It does have a privacy door going into the bathroom. You've got a tub on this side and then updated toilet with a towel surround and then a standing towel, I mean, a standing um, shower there on the left. So a separate tub, separate shower. And then this is an amazing closet. This house has a huge amount of closet space. You will never be lacking for storage. That we came from the guest bedroom downstairs. Come back across. I forgot to mention this one. This fireplace does have a gas starter. It is a wood burning fireplace, but it does have a gas starter. This lovely little built in desk here is perfect for computer work and taking notes in the morning. And as we enter into the primary bedroom, you will immediately notice look at the ceiling height incredible ceiling height, incredible light throughout this home view of the pool area and porch and then it's got French doors going out looking back across of course this is a king-size bed but this bedroom is huge you've got plenty of room for a sitting area so you've got two entrances to the closet you've got one here and one through the bathroom which I think is great if couples are getting ready at different times of the day um, you've got pocket doors here for access into the master bathroom all right so we have an incredible bathroom this is like a spa retreat you've got the oak cabinetry granite countertops look at all this space so we kind of consider this to be the the his side of the bathroom and you've got a her side or just two separate areas but you've got a beautiful big vanity here storage galore both sides have their own toilet rooms there which is a really nice feature and then you've got a huge walk-in tile shower with multiple shower heads you've got a great bench i love the two windows in there and the accents in the tile built-in towel storage coming back across the bathroom again the light even in in the middle of the day it's just beautiful in this home look at all the countertop space another large vanity this is vanity number two this one overlooks the tub and you've got a separate makeup vanity and who doesn't love a gorgeous full-length mirror and again this home is so private look out over the hydrangeas in your yard because we're on five a little over five acres it is a jetted tub there and next up i'm going to show you the closet so before we go into the closet this is toilet room Number two, both of the toilet rooms have vanity spaces in them as well. So you have a total of four sinks in your master bathroom. Here's the makeup vanity, a little built-in um, vanity makeup area. And then look at this closet. Custom built-ins everywhere. There is a place for literally everything. You have room for an island or an ottoman like they do. And they just really have thought of every detail in this home, which is just incredible. You got pull down attic access here. 
coming back across. Uh, lock storage closet there. Again, amazing storage. And as we've said, you could exit, you could get ready in the morning, come through the closet and exit the bathroom without disturbing others, which is really neat. All right, next we're gonna head upstairs. Before I head upstairs, I forgot to show off the laundry room. So we've got an amazing mudroom laundry room combination. This door goes out into the garage. You've got a great long vanity here, again, with a cultured marble or Corian countertop. And then it does have, I mean, this is another full bathroom. So if you had guests staying or just needed to, you know, come in the back door and shower off, You've got updated tile flooring, a little built-in desk area here, extra refrigerator, more storage, and then into the laundry room. Big sink, washer and dryer side by side. Look at the folding space and even another front entryway. There is thought put into every detail and design. I love that you, if you're setting up a party, you could use this space for having like kind of a backup kitchen too, which is really nice. And now we're gonna head upstairs. All right, here we are at the top of the stairs. And we are coming into bedroom number one upstairs. You've got two large closets, a beautiful big window. And these rooms upstairs are absolutely huge. You've got little built-ins there, another closet on this side. So this one has three closets. This one has a private bathroom. So you've got a single vanity, but it's a very large vanity tub shower combination, updated toilet, and then this is the water heater closet here on the left. And next up, we're gonna see the additional two bedrooms upstairs plus the bonus room. Let's take a look. So we come down the hallway here, bedroom number, I guess, two down and then three up. So you've got, this is would have been bedroom number three. This is bedroom number four. You've got a large, another spacious bedroom here. This one also has two closets as well. Really bright and cheery windows. This is a built-in here. You've got a room for a TV and a desk, perfect for homework. Another look back across this bedroom. And then you've got bathroom, it's a Jack and Jill, so it has access from both bedrooms. You've got a vanity space here. And then behind me, there's a privacy door and it comes through to a tub shower combination. Give you a little peek at that. And then bedroom number five. So this is the fifth bedroom. Again, we had three bedroom or two bedrooms downstairs, three upstairs for a total of five bedrooms. And you can see this is another really big room. This is kind of the equal size to the first bedroom upstairs. Again, the little built-ins, carpets in great shape. Hallway is full of closet space. This house has amazing storage. This is even a small walk-in here. Looking back around, this bedroom also has two big closets and even an attic space inside the closets. I mean, storage is unreal. Next up is the bonus room. This is such a great flexible, multi-purpose room and check out the vintage original carpet. I have never seen anything like this. This is so neat. You can play checkers, hopscotch, marbles, all kinds of games right on the floor. I just think that is such a cool element to this house. Um, just imagine the fun that has been had up here for years. You've got pool table, ping pong, you've got storage, a sitting area, a teen hangout, workout space. I mean, the possibilities are endless. This house has a front and a back staircase. This one goes down into the garage. So you've got an extra exit up here, but look at the amount of space. What a wonderful space for family fun for years to come. All right, here we are coming out into the back porch area. Look at the view from your back porch. You've got a grilling area, a sitting area. You could even have a ping pong table up here. This porch is so big. You've got another sitting dining area, fireplace, lovely brick flooring on the herringbone there. Nice and shaded. You've got fans. These are the fringe doors going into the primary master bedroom. We're gonna take a little walk down. You've got with steps there coming down to the cool creek around the pool. This is a nice big kidney shaped pool. It's really an oversized pool and a very deep 
We've got a brick um, surround with the cool creep. Great area for sunning. Look at the back of the house there. And let's do a full pan around. We are on a little over, or right under five and a half acres here. The azaleas, the trees, this yard is truly incredible. Look back toward the back of the home here. Kind of the gathering spot with the storage room there, workshop. Listen to the birds. There are so many, just the yard just goes on. It's completely fenced as well. I believe you've got two wells on the property. Room, even like a pull through or a place to store a boat here. You got some rosemary. Look at the swing. I'm gonna look back toward the back of the house here. I mean, you could have your own soccer field, t-ball field. This is North Double Gate behind double um, gate access here so a back driveway if you ever needed it or you know place to pull an RV or a boat through would definitely be doable I believe Mitchell EMC is the power provider I would have to double check that you've got another little kind of storage lean to here it does have power run to it gosh just a little walk around the yard I mean she told me she used to do a loop walking around the yard, watching the birds. Such a peaceful retreat. Whole area outside the fence too, which could make a great garden spot. You've got some irrigation run in the back as well. Next up, I'm gonna show you the garage side of the home. Going out the friend entrance here. I love that you've got this extra little entrance off your kitchen area where friends can come in and out and then you've got a three-car garage here and then look how much room is even outside the fence you've got tons of parking but it's so private you have the neighbors are very far and look at all the space out here wow welcome home